In this video, we're creating continued and baseline dimensions. Uh, a continued dimension is where you create a chain of dimensions back to back where arrows touch arrow in a straight line, pretty much. Baseline dimensioning is when you're um, creating dimensions from one single extension line. So all measurements are based off of that one extension line. <clears throat> so we begin this drawing by first establishing one linear dimension. So I'm going to my annotate button here and I'm going to my linear dimension command here so I'm going to click on that and what I want to do is establish my first linear dimension at this location so I'm going to click this point to this point again my distance needs to be more than three-eighths away from the object line so I'm going to do the at symbol and I'm going to give myself uh, 0.5 and then I'm going to add the angle symbol, 90 degrees. So I got a half a unit uh, away from the drawing. So after I do that, then comes my dimension continue command. Now I can type d dimension continue in the command bar, or I can go to the icon, which is found uh, here to say continuous. As you see, my next dimension is attached to the arrow of my previous one. This is important. Depending on how you click your uh, your first uh, dimension, whether you click from left to right or from right to left to create it, that determines what side the continue uh, dimension will come from. Since I went from left to right, then my continued dimension should be on the right. All right. So next, I will click this particular point here, and I'm gonna come across to this corner, and I'm going to uh, press Escape to end the com the dimension continue. Again, notice the style where each one of these dimensions are arrow to arrow to arrow. All right. Now, for baseline dimensioning, that's where we stack dimensions on top of each other. Now, to start that, I will begin by going to the icon for baseline. All right. Now, notice where my baseline begins. Uh, right here where this last number well that w would need to change and to do that we need to press enter for the select option down here or you can actually click select down here and we're going to actually select the extension line we want this thing to begin on so the extension line we want is this one here so we're going to click on that and as you can see, it's now moved to the far end. My last point would be right here at this location. So I will click that. And that makes the 6.375 above my continued dimensions. If I had other clicking points, I, I would be able to click out here. And you can see more dimensions would stack up on top again this is the baseline option now to end the baseline command you will have to hit the escape key to stop it all right and this concludes this tutorial